WTFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Diamond Industrials. Finish up 465. <clears throat> Excuse me, folks. You had the NASDAQ fi finish up uh, 434. S&P's up 90. That's a gain of 3.8% uh, folks in the NASDAQ, 2.4 in the S&P, 1.47 in the Dow Industrials. Gold. Gold contract traded down $16.40 at $18.08 an ounce. Silver up 27 cents, $21.04 an ounce. Light sweet crude up $4.13, $110.28 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10-year note down 27 ticks trading one nineteen oh five, the thirty year off two points at one thirty nine flat, and you get the ten year closing out the week, folks, at two point nine three percent. King dollar, king dollar down two hundred and ninety six ticks, one oh four five fifty six. Euro at one oh four, yen at one twenty nine, the British pound at one twenty two to one U S dollar. We get over and take a look at the S and P first. What you're going to see up here, you got a nice bounce going. Bottom line, not enough juice volume wise. But 97 million shares, you're going into this 132, 155. That being said, because you finished at the highs, that's saying, hey, man, you can bounce up to ice. Ice is laying out here at 413 inside the SPY. Right now, you're at 401. We take a look at the NDX 100. It's the same type of setup inside the NDX. You're up 10 bucks. Oh, look at this. This is amazing, actually. The contraction of volume in the NDX is phenomenal, man. This NDX is going to get smoked, man. So it's held price. And when you hold price like this and you get light volume, it's telling me it still wants to go up to ice. Ice is laying out here at the uh, anywhere from basically 309, 310, 311. The contraction is huge. 79 million shares versus 140 million versus 113. Uh, you can see you don't need much, man. Gold. Gold contract still has that ABC structure on the way down. We hit uh, 1797 out here today. 1788 is the number. And I expect we're going to see it. And the reason we're going to see it, I expect, folks, and the reason, one, more than likely one of the reasons that this market is going to continue lower also is this good old U.S. dollar. And I mean, the way this is trading, you know, you certainly broke the highs. Now, is it a breakout yet? I'd like to see it a little bit higher to be a breakout, but it looks like to me that's going to go to this 121. Right now, you're at 104. $121, you know, is going to have a lot of problems inside the marketplace for liquidities. There's going to be plenty of people on the wrong side of that trade. Have a great weekend, folks. Have a safe weekend. Come back and visit Tommy Monday morning. 9 o'clock kicks us off. Great show, folks. Thank you.